five games in, started all five games, played well. How have you been feeling about your play so far this season? I've felt good so far. Um, I'm always a tough critic on myself, but I, I'm happy. You know, it's a learning process as well. It's my first season as a professional. Things are going well, and I always like to improve game by game, you know, out here in practice. So that's pretty much it. That's the goal. And how have you found the transition from university soccer to here? Um, it's been a fun transition coming to Toronto. Like I said before, I never expected being here, and everyone's been so kind to me and uh, met a lot of people already, and it's been fun. And the transition's been good. The level of play is a lot higher. So it's, it's, enjoy it's really enjoying it, yeah. And with the bye week this weekend, what do you feel like you need to work on in the off time? In the bye week, it's just every day now we can really focus on training, go really hard, go in the gym with Sean. It's basically just put in the work. And, uh, yeah, we have no games this, this upcoming weekend, so it's just going out to training and preparing for the next game, which I believe is in Rochester. Up until that red card, Wes, you guys seem to be controlling the game, and then it mm -hmm. basically turned after that. What was the biggest thing you noticed after going a man down? Yeah, I mean, like you said, we were definitely in control of the game before that red card, but that happens. That's football. I think each one of us can take a look in the mirror and say we didn't do enough after the red card, including myself. And it's tough. It's a learning process, and it's something that next time, if we go down a man, I'm sure everybody, the whole squad, is going to be ready to perform and get a, get a result out of the game. You guys have played uh, different sides in the sense that Montreal and Vancouver are younger teams like, you, like yourself, mm -hmm. whereas Charles didn't. You have Red Bulls too, and Pittsburgh are made up of an older group. What was the biggest difference, I guess, in playing teams like that compared to more developmental teams? Yeah, I guess teams like Pittsburgh, you know, Rochester, they're, they're more seasoned vets, sort of say. They've been there longer, but as a as a team like Toronto too, and whoever it may be, I just it's still uh, there, there can't be an excuse for that. You have to go out there, you have to get a good result and train because we're all professionals and we're all on the same pitch. So. I don't think we're looking at that as a, any excuse at all. With TNT2, there's a lot of local Canadian guys. You're one of the uh, guys who came in from a draft. Uh, how has that transition been like coming into uh, not only a new team, but a new country, a new city, new lifestyle? It's been fun. I never thought I'd be in Canada at all. You know, I, I didn't know too much about the country, but coming here, the people are really nice. It's, an, it's enjoyable, especially if the weather's starting to warm up. I'm, I'm a Florida boy, so <laughs> I'm liking it right now. but. No, it's been a great experience. I really do love Toronto. I think it's a great city and a place to be. Uh, how, how was your, uh, I guess, your parents, your family's reaction to the news that you'd be playing with TFC2, and how have they been in this process so far? Well, the, the family's always supportive, and uh, yeah, my mom and dad, are, I talk to them every day, and they love the fact that I'm here. They're coming up for the first home match, I believe, that's May 23rd, so they're all excited to be up here to watch that game, and I look forward to seeing them. For young players coming through, um, in the world of football, sometimes big changes happen where you go from mm -hmm. the home you grew up into a new city. Uh, how important would you say, or what would you say to parents in terms of how they can best support mm. their kids as they go through this journey? Yeah, it's definitely a, a m big maturing process, but for parents going along, because I know a lot of kids too at a young age go, go on to play in Europe and all that, and it can be tough for parents, definitely. My mom's definitely, she's a loving mom, you know. But I guess you just keep in contact, you know, it, it, pretty much every day we talk to each other, them being supportive, that's the biggest thing. If I can have a conversation with them at least once a day, it makes me feel good and it makes me feel like I'm at home.